Boys, it's happened again. So I'm sure you remember what happened in the previous video. <laughs> well, here is a teaser of what's happened this time. Uh, okay then. Honestly, a futsal shirt is looking pretty damn good right about now. So as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, I went ahead and bought a mystery box from Classic Football Shirts. Now I went into this thinking this was going to be quite a simple process. I'll buy the box, I'll open it up, film it, and then we can see what we get. I was expecting maybe a pretty decent enough shirt, and then we'd see what other fluff they filled the box with, shorts, socks, etc. However, that didn't quite turn out like I expected it to. In fact, as I'm filming this part of the video, I'm still yet to see how it gets resolved. What I'm going to do is I'm going to showcase you the original footage and I'll jump in with any um, additional information that I feel might be helpful for you guys as you're watching it um, sort of unfold. And then once that has completed, we'll reconvene back here and we can continue with the second part of this video. Enjoy. Right then, so this is going to be a interesting video. I'm not only testing out my new audio recording equipment, I'm going to be testing out classic football shirts and their mystery boxes. Yes, we saw the previous mystery box and to be honest it didn't really go quite as well as maybe, well to be honest I didn't really think it was going to go well at all, but um, it really did go well with the futsal shirt. So I have decided to go to the professionals, the big boys, and let's see what they uh, are able to provide. Looking at the description, you are certainly going to get a lot more, but does that mean the quality is going to be diminished? Anyway, I was looking online and earlier last week the uh, mystery boxes became available to sale again, and I have bought one. Here it is. It's the mystery box. No, I lie. This is a mystery box, but this isn't the classic football shirts one. This is the classic football shirts mystery box. This is a mystery box. Surely I'm going to get something good in here, right? There's a lot of stuff to get into, so let's quickly get into it and see what we get. Maybe we might get lucky. Let's have a look. Right then guys, here we are. Here's the giant package. Hopefully I can fit it all into this screen. Um, what you're expected to get in a box like this is obviously a t-shirt. I believe you get some shorts, you get some socks, some trading cards, a program, uh, possibly a poster, and some stickers or something to that effect. So there's quite a lot to, uh, to see here. So let's open it up and maybe we'll get something that I actually need. So we can already see uh, a trading card. May I say that I bought this possibly Wednesday and it arrived Saturday. Which is pretty impressive considering I bought a mystery box last Friday night. Still hasn't arrived. There you go. Let's tear this off. Oh, we got. We got a bit of a Del Piero action, if it can ever focus at all. Well, I can do it, but I have to auto. I need to learn how to auto focus that, don't I? Okay, so that's one card. I think we're expected to get a few more. I'll keep that bubble wrap for later on. Right then, here it is. I've seen a few people showing the cases of it, but I've not seen anybody open one yet. So let's go from here. Let's snip, snip away. God damn it, if, I, if there's a damn futsal shirt in here now, I am gonna, I'm gonna just kick off. 
Oh, I'm sure it won't be. Come on. Da, 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 da. Is it going to be in a re reveal straight away? No, it's not. <laughs> so we have a tube and then we have the bag itself. So let's get that out of the way. This box is actually pretty, uh, pretty hefty. I'm going to probably find, find a use for it, I suspect. Let's have a look in the tube first, which I suspect is probably the uh, poster. Who are we going to get? Oh, we're getting a uh, 1994 World Cup home shirts uh, poster. So we have <clears throat> Argentina, Belgium, Bolivia, Bulgaria, Brazil, Cameroon, Colombia, Germany, Greece, Italy, Mexico, Morocco, Netherlands, Nigeria, Norway, Republic of Ireland, Romania, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Spain, Sweden, and USA. Some quite iconic shirts there if we uh, see them all at once. Obviously the German shirt, the USA shirt, Spain shirt, the Netherlands shirt, they're the ones that sort of stand out. That's kind of cool. I'll find somewhere to uh, put that, even though I don't care about national team shirts. Can't fit that in there. Let's do that at a time. All right then, here we go. Oh, that's a professional job. Da, da, da. Come on. Like Christmas. I see Fiorentina. Oh. Okay. Right. Can't see the shirt, this guy. Come on. There we go. So it turns out I've got some, I think, Fiorentina socks. Um, from what I can tell, it looks like the Fiorentina bag there, doesn't it? Um, let's have a look. Look at that. Come on. Let's put my hand in it. Yeah, that's Fiorentina. Okay, that's really cool. Not something I'd ever think about getting, but actually, uh, that's pretty smart, that is. So, some authentic Fiorentina socks. Trading cards. We have Ronaldinho. I'll have to focus this thing in there. No, come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Ronaldinho, I think we've already got that one. Henri, I think we already have that one. Uh, we have Kaka, which I think we already have. Del Piero, which we got with the box. We have Eric Cantona, we already have. Nakata, we already have. Totti, I think we already have. Uh, Maldini, which I think we already have. Daglish, that's a new one, I think. So, um, Yes, one out of ten, whatever that was. Fine. Stick those over there. So this one is a uh, program, which is sort of like one of the um, things that they did when they uh, showcase their um, their shirts, like their events that they do. Uh, this one. I haven't seen this one. I got a smaller one, but this one seems to have a lot more details. So I'll give this a read. So that's kind of nice. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly jump in and detail what you should expect to have received if you had bought one of these boxes with regards to the shirt. So it says you should get a professional club slash national team shirt slash t-shirt with a website sale value of £19.99 or over. So bear that in mind when I show you what shirts I have just received. What do we have here? Um, right.
This is probably not going to be, from what I've just looked at, a good thing. What is this? Um, don't need that. Uh, okay then. Well, um, I think I may have misread this. Maybe I bought one where you wasn't guaranteed a football shirt and you were just guaranteed a t-shirt. Because, um, ah, I've got an Arsenal shirt. Oh, my days. Really? Arsenal? Of all the teams? I'm a Chelsea fan. You give me an Arsenal? God damn it. What could I... I was certain I was meant to get a shirt. I'm certain it said it wasn't going to be English. Oh, maybe I misread. I'm going to have to look into this. God damn it. Right then. So, it's just a random Arsenal fan shirt. Um, yeah, it's all there. Uh... Right, okay then. What's worse than a football shirt? Arsenal shirt. Okay, that's going to go in the bin. And... I presume these are my shorts. Um, I think they are Ghent shirts because it's Jotazai. Uh, I kind of have one of the shirts for them. I think it's Ghent. Does it say in the uh, on the inside? Um, no, I'm pretty certain it is. It's the uh, similar to one of the t-shirts I own. Very luminous, which is fine. I like that. And. Uh, yeah, so I can wear those at some point, maybe. It's got a wonderful raccoon on it. And then, finally, we have this um, laminated photograph of El Hajjouf. <laughs> Which is what we all want, right? We all want to see El Hajjouf, that wonderful, wonderful person that he is. Uh, it looks like it was taken from Match Magazine, uh, which, to be honest, I did use to read when I was younger. But, uh, yeah. So, let's have a review of what we have. We have a poster of uh, some World Cup uh, shirts. I don't collect uh, national team shirts. We have El Hazardouf, who's not really my favourite player in the world. Some trading cards that I already have most of. Uh, an Arsenal shirt. I'm not even going to talk about that. The, the, sh the shirts, I mean, the shirts are, 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 you know, they are what they are. Uh, and then I have that pretty cool program which I will give a read um, oh and the socks sorry the socks are probably the best thing to be honest the, the four pound socks okay then uh, so two boxes in two I think we can probably say fails uh, so the video does go on a little bit longer than that but it's pretty much me waffling on about how much I hate Arsenal so I will sort of uh, <laughs> spare you from all that uh, once I'd finished recording, I felt like obviously I needed a little bit of clarification on what I'd received and what I'd bought. I dropped uh, the Instagram Classic Football Shirts account a DM because it was a weekend thinking that they might be more likely to respond. Uh, no, they didn't. They respond on Monday morning. So pretty much it was uh, me asking, hey, I bought this box. Could you clarify what I should have received? And what they initially said was you should receive a professional football club slash national team shirt with a value of £29.99. So obviously when I read that, instantly I was like, whoa, my t-shirt does not tick any of those boxes whatsoever. Um, so I said, hey, you know, this is what I received, what do I do? They said, please contact the support email address and they'll take it from there. So I dropped them an email saying, hey, I've been speaking to your Instagram account. They've suggested that this is what I should have received. This is what I received, please advise. They came back to me and goes, uh, sorry for the mix-up, but it seems like the Instagram account um, got confused with with which um, mystery box you'd received. Um, the product code that you um, bought from, you should have received only um, any sort of T-shirt between the value of £19.99 or greater. I was like, okay, okay, well, thank you for the clarification. But this shirt I have received still doesn't tick many of those boxes. It certainly doesn't value of £19.99 or greater. In fact, they sell the shirt for £8.99, right? Which is even half 
the value of what I should have got as a minimum eight pounds ninety nine, which no matter which way you look at it, that is absolutely unacceptable. So I obviously explained that in the email, and they goes, "Oh yes, I didn't spot that. Please accept our apologies. We have a couple of solutions for you. We can either send you out a shirt with a value of nineteen pounds ninety nine to twenty nine pounds ninety nine." or you can just return the box for a full refund. Well, obviously I wanted to see what shirt I could receive, so I went with the shirt choice, plus I didn't really feel fancy taking that box to the post office because that is a, it's a big boy. So they said, that's fine, no issues, we'll get one sitting out for you. So whilst I was waiting for it to be uh, dispatched, I coincidentally found a uh, post on Instagram, actually, of a gentleman who had also bought the same box that I have, and he posted a photograph of the contents that was within. Uh, and I must admit, I did have a little chuckle because it was just as terrible as the one I'd received. So he posted this on his Twitter, uh, and what he has is, well, the main thing is the vest top. He got a Real Madrid training vest as his shirt, right? Now, he, like myself, lives in the UK, it's the winter, there is no chance to be wearing a vest top, right? In any circumstance. We don't live in Miami. So obviously, he was furious. Everyone else who would comment on the post were like, this is ridiculous. Firstly, I was like, hey, can I reference you in the video? Yep, sure. And then I privately messaged him and suggested um, that we talk about what we received. I said, look, this is what I've got. What do you think? He says, just equally as terrible. Uh, we went back and forth uh, detailing our experience. And apparently when he first posted the uh, image on Twitter, the Classic Football Shirts account uh, did a laugh emoji or lolled it, not realizing it was actually one of the boxes that he'd bought from them. Obviously, when they realized it, they quickly deleted it, contacted him and said, look, we're going to sort this out for you. Um, now, apparently some of his other friends also bought some boxes and none of them were happy with what they'd received. A few had received polo shirts, which if true, that is also unacceptable in my eyes. Uh, and then a few received the same Shakhtar Donetsk goalkeeper shirt. Now that one is a gray area for me personally, because it's more of a football shirt than a polo shirt, um, a vest, certainly, um, a fan shirt, even a futsal shirt. So. That one, I can sort of think it could be worse. Um, but we went back and forth and, and it seems like this box was pretty poorly put together. Quite clearly from the evidence presented, Classic Football Shirts have used this mystery box opportunity to get rid of a load of stock that otherwise they would have extreme difficulty in selling. Um, polo shirts, vest tops, um, fan shirts, they're just not, there's not much demand, uh, or at least I don't believe there is. So instead of taking a, an opportunity like a mystery box and turning it into maybe something positive, because at the moment, a mystery box is, from what I can tell, most people either try and avoid, actively avoid, or they go into it thinking, well, I'm not actually going to get anything of any use. Um, I feel like Classic Football Shirts have missed an opportunity to take advantage of it. They are the biggest boys in the playground. They don't need to fill it with a lot of garbage that no one's going to be happy with. Um, yes, they may have filled a few with some decent shirts, but if people are constantly getting fan shirts and vests and polo shirts, that's going to leave a bad taste in their mouth. Now, I've bought near as damn it 150 shirts from Classic Football Shirts, uh, and I will continue to do so. They are the best at what they do, but I feel like it was a bit of a, a misstep uh, and a miscalculation with these mystery boxes. Uh, I believe they're going to be doing some more going forwards, so hopefully they iron out the errors because clearly the shirt I received wasn't even meant to be in there at all. So I appreciate that mistakes happen. It's not often that they've uh, made mistakes, at least with my purchases. Uh, so, you know, that I appreciate that can happen. But I feel like they need to review maybe what shirts they're giving out. Like, they have the world's largest collection of football shirts. There's no real need to be putting fan shirts in there. Even if you threw in, like, one of the cheaper tie shirts, I think people would be satisfied with it. We're not expecting World Cup 
player issue signed shirts. We just want something that's a little bit different. And um, yeah, otherwise people are going to be not too happy like the clearly aren't. Okay, so the shirt has arrived. My replacement shirt is here. I um, only have this on order, so it's not like it's going to get mixed up with something else. This is genuinely what has been sent as a compensation with regards to my mystery box. So I want you to take it with a pinch of salt. There is a chance that this may be an elevated value shirt because obviously it's, it's, a, it's a level of compensation to make up for a mistake that was occurred. So it may not necessarily be a fair representation of what you would receive normally. Um, but there's also a chance that it could be just as terrible and this video is never going to finish and I'm never going to be able to release it. So I don't want to take up too much of your time because I appreciate this is a long video already. I'm just going to open it like this. You can see my face as it reacts and hopefully there is some decent finish to this quite poor story. Here we go. Please be something good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what this is because I've already got one of these. Great. Right, get rid of that. So, FC Dallas. Well, at least it's the football shirt this time. It looks like this is some sort of return itself because this bag has been opened many times. Right then, so... Let's have a look, shall we? Very difficult for me to determine if this is the uh, player issue version. It could possibly be. So it's an SC Dallas shirt, and obviously it's manufactured by Adidas, like whole American MLS shirts are. It is a medium. It does have the tags, and um, I mean it's a football shirt. It's something, isn't it? I'm not certain of what the retail value is. I'll have to look into that and come back to you on that one um, to check if it is a player issue. I mean, the, the odds are of me getting a shirt that I already own, or at least I already have a shirt from this club, were p are quite high considering the amount of shirts that I own. Um, it did used to retail in the, in the US for $90. Um, usually there's a little indication of it being a um, player issue. I think it's probably from somewhere around 2016 season, I reckon, something to that effect. But what do you think? You think that's a fair level of compensation? It's not the worst shirt in the world. Um, I don't really know what to do with it. Maybe I'll sell it in a few years. Is it better than the one I already have? Possibly. They're not both of them are not amazing. Like they don't stand out design wise. But that's it. That's the end of the story. I think I have my box, and I have finally a T-shirt. Well. Anyway, let me know what you think. <laughs> is it is it is it has have I overreacted again, or should I uh, should I be uh, justified in my frustration at what I have received? Oh, and I suppose I get to keep the Arsenal shirt, which is really good because I don't want it, guys. I don't want that shirt. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm sorry for taking up all your time. I do have other mystery boxes arriving when they arrive. That one's already caused me issues before I've even opened the box, so that one's going to be good. And yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next video. Goodbye.